Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out to be open towards the signs and the synchronicities that are coming your way to be able to tell you know, the things that are coming towards your journey or the things you need to stay clear from. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching your, my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the, the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now, need confirmation or validation towards their life path, or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. So today, um, my uh, peaceful meditation music, I really love this because it's showing different pictures of Buddha. So it really is relaxing to me. It's called Zen Music, Relaxing Music, Calming Music, Stress Relief, Peaceful and Relaxed Music. 3384 so i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is uh hey uh twin flame 101 hey Okas, you have to trust that the same source that has created you i mean that created you will be that one that takes care of you and it's so true you know there's times where we're on our journey and it can be not so pretty it cannot be perfect you know we all have to go through it to get to it it's always a daily process things that are just shown to us that you know was very tragic in our lives that you truly want to let go of you know there's times that you know things seem unclear to you it might leave you a little confused or worried but it's just like you have to be able to trust and source you know there's times I go through you know my path and my journey and there's some things that bother that are bothersome towards me or you know I um, meet up towards people and they suddenly you know disappear or they end up betraying me and you know it's just like I was talking to one of my soul family today and it's just like I had to really look at it for what it is it's like when you connect with people sometimes things happen the way they're supposed to happen you know some people betray you sometimes you know friends just fall out of friends you know when things were beneficial towards them and it's just like like I tell a lot of people sometimes we put those lifetime expectations on people that we were only supposed to give them that seasonal greeting and you know and it can be hard at times and it's just like you should never allow those situations to make you bitter you know it's just like if you you know I, I told my friend today I said if I connect with anybody Body, it's fine I just don't go out my way to try to make friends like that you know I just feel like you know if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I'm, I'm connected with y'all that's only you know I don't really have an outside life you know there you know universe is like hey you need to meet people and this and this and that and I'm just like ugh, I really don't want to you know it's okay I'm cool you know if I meet other people you know I meet other people there's time in my neighborhood that you know I go walking and take on my nature but it's just been so hot Lately, it's just like when it gets finally cools down, I'm like, shoot, I'm so wiped out from throughout the day. I can't even go outside. And I know I need to go outside because I've been outside for like about a week because it's been like almost 95, 98 degrees here. Like, and it's like it don't have any, you know, wind blow to it. It's just all hot. So it's just like I can't deal with all that heat. I sunburn very bad. So, but it was just like I have to tell them, I try not to make those type of situations um, make me bitter towards the world, not make me block people, because I try not to do that. You know, only time I tend to block people if I feel like it's negative towards me, or, you know, if I have to keep trying to tell you things that, but you're bringing that energy towards me, I'm just like, I can't do it. Or I just feel like people are going over my boundaries. That's the only time I tend to block people out of my life. But it's like now, it's just the older I get, the more I'm starting to go through different things. And it's just a blessing to be able to help people make sense of the things that they're going through. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, have been getting in touch with me about their life path. And, 
you know, what are these things that are showing to them? And, you know, and it makes me worried a little bit. Like, dang, you know, what if I don't know the answer to be able to give them? But it's just a blessing that lately things have been coming towards me. And y'all excuse me because the light keeps flashing like that. It's like my energy is like really bouncing off the laptop today. Um, going through so many different things uh, has allowed me to help others which is truly a blessing to me. And it's just like I tell everybody all the time. Uh, the, the blessing to me, I don't really feel like people should buy me things or try to send me things. I hate it when people do that because I really feel like, you know, hey, you know, I appreciate the thought, but it's just like me seeing you happy and you knowing that you can make sense of your journey or make sense that things are coming your way. Those are the, those are the blessings to me. That's, that's the gift you can give to me is just to know that I can make, peace with you. I can have, allow you to have peace in your heart and happiness towards the things that are coming to you because it can be very confusing. We have to be able to trust in ourselves, trust in the source, universe, God, you know, everything that has been placed us in this crazy situation for us to learn. It's just like, like I said, when we have gone through these life journeys for umpteen times and it takes our slow asses like about a thousand times after we don't live a certain kind of life is like this little thing is what y'all been trying to teach me like many millenniums ago we're like yeah we were but you know you chose to do everything else except what you're doing here i'm like well dang, i feel kind of slow you know and it's just like you know i love the fact that i can be able to make you know jokes about it and being able to lighten up the humor you know lighten up the room or whatever um with things that occur in our life you know it's not a laughing matter but it's just like there's a lot of things you can't change you know you try to understand why people are the way they are about you it's like we have planned these people to be in our lives they had their part just like you had your part and it's just your thing for you to be able to decipher why these things occur what you need to do when it when it comes to happen to you how do you respond how do you project how do you release all these different things so it's just like when you're going through this and it might feel like oh my god i'm going through hell i can't understand this why do i have to constantly keep going through these things why do i keep attracting these type of people it's like you never know those people are here to teach you something as you are to teach them you're not supposed to let these certain situations come into your life and allow these things to make you bitter you know they're playing their part and even though they might be narcissistic they're playing their part you know you supposed to be that you know that non-evil villain that is supposed to allow yourself to be able to set that example and part ways with it without any animosity any hatred being able to forgive them about all measures which is hard to do at times and i understand that but it's just like everything is happening for a reason you know you have to tend to go through things and see yourself for who you truly are you should be confident within yourself know that you are you are powerful your you know your energy counts your person you as a person count you know don't ever allow these people to belittle you and I know that as soon as I said that, <laughs> my life flashes. But, you know, all this energy, you know, it's just like, uh, got me all over the place. But, you know, it, it's just like when we go through things, it's hard. Sometimes it's like when situations happen, we tend to be anxious. You know, we're ready for things to happen right now. Like I told y'all, we, sometimes we get to that point where we want to have a microwavable dream. Like we want it right now. But we're not thinking, what is the things that we need to learn in between that time of us getting our blessings? You know, I have to listen to mine. Forgive beyond all measures. Being able to put peace and understanding towards the things that you put out towards yourself as well as people. You know, um, seeing things is you never should take it personal when people act that way. It's just they're projecting their insecurities towards you. You know, they're showing you whatever you're doing is disrupting their inner peace. And they hate that about you because they want so bad for you to be the same way they are. They are the way they are. You are the way you are. You know, I, I used to get all... And my feelings like, you know, no matter what I did, there was always somebody projecting drama towards me. There's not all people, but there was people that were physically around me that would constantly show that. And I'm just like, I'm so tired of seeing that. You know, I'm going through a really crappy time too, but you don't see me acting that way. It's not supposed to be that way. It, it's just like, but in the back of your mind and even in your within yourself, you, you have that sense of calmness like, okay, this this gauntlet situation this level you know i knew i was supposed to go through this and i'd see how it's going to play out and knowing you know just hold on a little bit longer you you know things are coming for you it's already been written for you it's already yours you just have to go through all these trials and tribulations being able to have faith in yourself as in the universe you're going to get them 
So it's just like, you know, I see my situation. You know, there was a lot of times I sat here and cried and see all the people that I held dear to me lose. You know, some people I didn't say goodbye. I didn't even say hello to, you know, but I still have connections with people on my, you know, my spiritual side, you know, being able to see the death of my father and me and be able to go and going through so many abusive chapters of my life, you know, was going to inspire me to be able to open up and tell my life story towards people to give them understanding towards theirs. You know, I, I mean, there's a lot of times I sit here and cry and just like saying, you know, my dad's been murdered you know um i don't understand why nobody's been held responsible all these different things just came into my life and you know it's left me angry at times it left me confused and it felt hurt you know it's like does anybody understand how i feel or does anybody care you know i've had all those different feelings in my life and it was just like me, me being able to open up and give people that sense of comfort to know that even though these things have happened to you you are not alone there's other people that are dealing with these things as well some people are not comfortable with opening up and telling people about the things that they went through as in for me i you know i didn't know where my story was going to take me until now you know there's so many people that has confided in me um, about the situations that has been placed upon them and it, I mean it angers me just to know that they went through these things and I just pray for them comfort you know it's just a lot of times it's like I hear my dad's song I wish you heaven you know um, a lot of people have went through so many things in their life and you just want them to be able to have that peace in their heart and be able to enjoy life again don't allow their life to re revolve around those things that have been placed onto them they need to enjoy life for what it is being happy you know um, those are things I really wanted for people it's not anything selfish you know because it's just like I want people to be happy I want people to be able to be enjoyed but a lot of times we focus on the things that has been placed on us that it takes away from that you know life is too short you know I have to keep telling myself that sometimes I you know I see myself going back to that situation but then you know, for me to be able to hear the universe saying, you don't know everything that's happening behind closed doors. You're going to get the answer you deserve. You know, things are going to come to you in ways that you won't even imagine. And that's the same thing for y'all. You know, we just have to be able to be patient, have faith within ourselves, knowing that source put us in this certain situation for a reason. You know, with us being able to cut those, those curses, you know, the karmic cycles, we are going to have to go through the most worst situation that's known to mankind. And it's just a lot of people are going to just hear your story and they're going to be just like, and you lived through this and <laughs> you survived, you know, all these different things. And it's going to amaze people and have them look at their self and their situations they've been placed in to give them hope that, you know, if they were able to make it, why can't I? You know, so it's just a lot of times, you know, we have to be able to know that the things that we were created from to be able to have that same faith that they took to create us to be able to know that they're there to protect us at times we don't we feel alone we don't feel like we have anybody that can hear us you know I, there was sometimes I sat here and cried and said God turned his back on me you know there you know there is no God for you to be sitting up here allowing these things to happen to me but then when I finally you know got out of my emotions and see it Look at your tragic situation. Look how many people you have helped. Look at how many people made sense of, you know, they never felt they would be able to heal from the things that's been placed on them. And it's a daily process to where, you know, if I can make my videos and I can be able to tell people the things that I went through, what to look for, what did you need to see in yourself as well as others. You know, nobody's perfect. You know, hurt people hurt people. You know, there's a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to forgive the people that have placed those afflictions on us. But it's like, it's not that, that thing for you to be bearing. You know, it's not something you should be carried around all the time. You have to be able to release it so you can be able to enjoy the finest things in life. To know that this is not, this thing is going to be able to make you but it's not going to break you you know this is the thing that's going to take you to that next level this is going to be that thing that you're going to be able to project towards people that is love regardless of what people placed on me I still have love and that is a beautiful thing to be able to share with other people and it's just like you know y'all see me at my funny times y'all see me at my sad times you see me 
and my energetic like I know something was different today you know and I didn't know what it was but I didn't know you know it's just like I, when I had that power to be able to project that knowledge towards people I really feel that's a blessing you know I asked the universe can I have this for me not just for me but for people that are coming towards my way to be able to get that knowledge that they truly need that confirmation to let them know everything is going to be okay you know you have to just be able to see beyond the hatred see beyond the impatience see beyond the hurt that you know the mad you know, you have to be able to see throughout love, positive, positivity, optimistic view. You have to be able to see all those things and know that, you know, source got our back. You just have to be able to see the signs that, you know, you're distracted from because you're so busy paying attention to the negative. Because there's so many things going on over here that they're trying to show you like, hey, if you can stop paying attention to this, what's going on over here, look at all the beautiful things that are waiting for you right here. And as soon as I said that, my phone just lit up like crazy. But know that better days are coming for you. Know that source and universe, God, archangels, everybody's got your back. When you're going through different things, all you got to do is ask. You know, that's free will. The only time they step in is when things happen to you that can really hurt you. They'll step in then. But other than that, they, they can't step in and intervene until you ask for that assistance. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. And I hope this was able to uh, give somebody some kind of confirmation towards their life. Uh, please go ahead and drop me a line and let me know if this resonates with you. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop me a line so I can be able to give you a post notification shout out. And the, uh, let me go ahead and see who I'm going to. Deja Watley. I think that's Watley or Waitley. Much love to you as well. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and uh, dropping, a, dropping a comment is greatly appreciated. And welcome to the family. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I pray for each and every one of you every day. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, fab loved. Knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Much love, peace, be well.